Hi everybody, Mike with Enviroscape LA and our latest project, this is in December, it's a great time to plant natives and I want to present to you a native garden. It's almost done, uh, but there's uh, some interesting things that we did with this garden that uh, we typically do, don't do on most native gardens or, or gardens period. Um, one of the things is we are not laying drip irrigation. Correct, you heard me right. We're not laying drip irrigation. So the question is, well, are you doing overhead sprays? No, we're not going backwards, we're going forward. This is, I, I believe, it presents a really interesting solution to the drought, or one of the solutions to drought in LA. Uh, people water their lawns almost every day in LA, unless you heard there's a drought, and then you stop watering your garden, and it doesn't look very nice. So our message is that sustainability can look beautiful it can look phenomenal so in back of me there was a, a garden here that was um it, it was a nice little garden basically yesterday we ripped it all out the only thing we left was this uh the cedar in the background a uh, big beautiful cedar but basically we pulled everything out and then we brought in stone so there's a lot of stone work to give the illusion of a dry creek bed uh, there's a stone pathway that we installed, uh, really, really cutting edge stuff. And under the stone, we did lay some landscape fabric to help to keep weeds from growing up. And uh, we actually installed native plants. The installation was by Mimi, or excuse me, the design by Mimi of Garden Magic Company, and then the installation by Enviroscape LA. But let me tour you around some of the interesting things behind us. Uh, as I mentioned before, there's a um, there's a riverbed, a dry creek bed going through here. Uh, we have gravel. You know, when do people take their dogs to pee, where are they going to pee? They're going to pee here instead of going in into the um, garden. Now, the garden is not done. How do we know it's not done? Because we haven't laid about three inches of thick deco bark yet. So that's coming. It's in the truck. It's on its way over. That's the finishing touch of this. The homeowner has made a commitment that they're gonna come out here and they're gonna water this appropriately every single week because at the nursery, all these new plantings, this is the white sage, we've got the coastal daisy here, we've got the uh, sage, uh, we've got the buckwheat over here. So all these plants are small, they're natives, but they're gonna grow and this place is gonna look amazing. But it does need water every single week, even though it's winter time, and we're probably expecting rain uh, later this week, so we're probably not gonna water it this week anymore after we water it today, but it is gonna need regular watering until the roots get established, and then it'll live pretty much on rainwater. Get a little supplemental water in the summer, and then after that, it doesn't need anymore. Interesting thing about it is that we, notice how we, these native plants, we actually left them a little bit higher, and you might think, well, why didn't we dig the hole a little bit deeper and get the whole plant in there? Remember, we're gonna lay about three inches of mulch, de decorative mulch on there. So it's appropriate that we leave them a little bit higher. So there's a whole method to this madness. Uh, we did install some recycled, uh, this is a recycled product, it's a, a landscape border. Uh, it's gonna, it's a, for everything, it's, it has a lifetime guarantee. And then the, in the design, the beauty of this, the stroke of genius here, is that we, we did bring in a few big boulders. This is about a 150 pound boulder. So we brought this in, we buried it, and then that's where the border starts. We laid the landscape fabric underneath, and then we put these rocks down, which these rocks, by the way, were here. So we repurposed them. Reduce, reuse, recycle, and repurpose. The four, R, four R's. Um, want to draw your attention to this plant here. This is called the Ceanothus or Ray Hartman. You know something about the Ceanothus is most plants love it when you water them, they actually perk up. This plant, well, once, it, once it's established, if you start giving it regular water, it'll turn yellow. It's, it's like a warning sign. It's like, please don't water any, anymore. I don't like water, except for rainwater, of course. Um, over here, uh, we can see, now normally with our jobs, we we always, I'm a big proponent of using drip irrigation. If you're not gonna hand water, I'm a big proponent of that. So this is where normally the drip irrigation would come off of. No sprinkler valves. It's amazing. So this garden is gonna, you can see it has the bones of an absolutely beautiful garden. But, it, and it, like I said, we'll, we'll probably do one more video to show once the mulch is in, it's gonna look absolutely fabulous. And we'll probably come back in six months and show you all the plants coming in. I want to also draw your attention to the uh, big cypress tree over here. Um, it, 
it did get cleaned out this morning. Uh, we put all the dead. And uh, what did we do with all the dead? We left it here. Why? Because what's the best mulch for any tree? It's its own leaves. It has all the nutrients that it, that uh, it used up, and then it goes back into the soil, pushes into the soil. So we're we're gonna put uh, the decorative bark around here, and we're gonna put we're gonna leave that as mulch over here. And then uh, one of my favorite plants in the, the native world is that lavatero, that big bush right there. We just trimmed it. Turns out to be a gorgeous bush. And then there's one, uh, it's a non-native, but it's from India. It's called the India Hawthorn right here. It, it lives on rainwater. It's a fabulous, fabulous um, plant to have in the landscape. And little tiny things like this, this little guy right here is actually going to get to be huge. So for more information, uh, you can contact us. Our website is enviroscapela.com. This is Mike with Enviroscape LA signing off. When you think sustainability and native gardens, think Enviroscape LA.